Hi, and welcome to Drive Time. I'm excited to get to spend a couple of minutes with you, so clear your mind and be ready for God to talk to your heart. But don't forget to keep your eyes on the road as well. Here we go. Today's reading comes from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, where Paul wrote, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs. And don't forget to thank Him for His answers. If you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace will keep your thoughts and hearts quiet and at rest as you trust in Christ Jesus. You know, the world doesn't get any better just because we're trying to break the bad in our life. We still have to pay our bills. We still have to deal with people who are jerks. And we have to face the stressful changes that are coming into our life because we're trying to break the bad. I mean, there's just pressures that are outside of our control that will tend to wear us down if we aren't careful to protect ourselves from the world's onslaught of anxiety-filling things in our life. And so Paul gave us a strategy to help guard against the troubles of life, and that's what he, when he wrote, don't worry about anything. You know, the word translated keep is a military term that means to keep under guard like one protected um, by, by a, a regiment. You know, that he said that Paul told us that he will keep our minds, he will keep our hearts quiet and at rest as we trust him. The image is one of a guard marching around the border of our hearts and, and our minds, keeping out the, the anxieties of life. And this is only promised if we routinely turn every worry and need over to God and develop an attitude that just says we're thankful for what God's doing. When we turn our worries over to the care of God, we will discover the protection of inner peace that, pass, that, that passes the understanding that we had of peace before. Think about this. The key to God's peace is found in continually turning our lives over to him. Have a great day.